What's your favorite kind of sneaker? We're going. What kind of person is most likely to have some fugazi steppers on their toes? What defines authentic drip versus a uh, sort of copycat imitator style? The person what? themselves. I mean, you can uh, you can express yourself through drip, the way that they walk, the way that they, they talk. How did you develop I, your- I, I, I dislike it already. I knew it was gonna be funny. This is basically r slash cringe for me though, right? Sneaker con, just one of those things like that, uh, just a stupid thing to, to waste money on. Your drip, were you born drippy? Every day is a new type of drip. It's one of one every day. Oh, you man. Go out, just drip saying like the that, word. You know, find some shoes. Find like they, they had to come up with a word that sounded less lame than fashion. The drip, my drip, 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 drippy drip, drip. And some Rick, some Doc Martens. Is it easy season? I mean, when is it not? Well, if it was easy season all the time, then it wouldn't be a season. That's true. You yeah. got the questions on deck. Shit, you think bro, there's gonna be on rappers? deck. If they got drip, they're gonna be here. Who's your favorite rapper? The NBA drip. Young Sauce Boy. Drip. So you don't fuck with Lil Durk then? Fuck Lil Durk. He ain't slide for Vaughn. Bro's dead. That was I don't even know who those people slide. are. What is he doing? You'd murder the, the dude who noodle knocked your big big bro <laughs> you got both on. you got no one tells me that they probably saw it coming too and like purposely didn't tell me he's about to trip and fall little Dirk probably won't be here i hope they have galaxy foams up in here you want some galaxy foams you've been stuck in 2012 bro well, here we are oh, we're what? almost there sneaker con anaheim Jesus, dude. where california anaheim california home of disney and Give me one sec. Who do you think has more sneakers, uh, Lil Durk or NBA Youngboy? NBA Youngboy. How come? Why? He's got drip compared to Lil Durk. Oh shit. I've heard of him. <laughs> this guy's name is Fire. <laughs> it's Ass Pizza, yo. My name is Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. Why do they call you Ass Pizza? That's just uh, my Instagram name that I have for a long time, and now I'm just stuck with it for life. Did you cop any drip in Why? there? Why? Absolutely not. There's no drip in there. A lot of corny shit in there? I mean, I guess, yeah. right? So he's like, I made this Instagram name when I was like eight years old, and I thought Ass Pizza was hilarious, and now it's like, it's my brand, and now I can't change it. Are you, where are you going? Uh, we're gonna crash Wedding Con. Wedding Con? It's upstairs. You what? should come. All right, we're now inside what? the Anaheim Convention Center. Why yeah. are they gonna go crash another con though? It's like everyone thinks your con is stupid too, and you're gonna go mess with someone else's con. Would they like it if I came and ruined their con? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what they do. Austin are pulsing with excitement. Are you guys here for sneaker con or wedding con? What's it like up there? Is it fun? It's nice. It's nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh huh. Thank you. That's that answer, right? When people you hear it in the tone of the voice, it's nice. That's the like. Now it kind of sucked. Right here is a bunch of. Ladies who want to get married, they're inspired. Oh, is that what is that what con. they're thinking? They're missing one thing: a bunch of handsome men. Wedding I, con seems like a pretty good place it. to find a wife. They fuck with weddings. I get it. They it. think it's like a what was that movie? What was that movie? Was it like the Wedding Singer or something like that? Where where his whole thing was like uh, the weddings were the best place to get laid, right? Because all the other girls that aren't getting married are like in an extra, extra, you know, feely state of like I wish. Men's warehouse. Where's Men's Warehouse? Oh, fantastic. It's the ring bear here. He's in our uh, charcoal. It's just like going to, to Target or Walmart for clothes. It's like the entire thing is women's and then there's one tiny little thing for men. Fabulous. Hey, the red, white, and blue strings. Custom tuxedos, satin lapel. Are you married? I'm not. What are you guys selling here? Wedding dresses, bridesmaid dresses. Are you married? No, not yet. Do you want to not be married? Yet. Yes. Hopefully he just proposes soon. I'm waiting on it. Oh, you got a man? <laughs> hey, so look at that. The guys were right. And the other guys are like, eh, they're going to be a bunch of ladies up there. They wish they were getting married. And we just got to go bring the handsome men to them. Hey, they were, they were kind of right. Yes. What's his name? Chance. To hurry up. Oh, she's already she's already got a guy who's failing to do it. I see, I see. Hey, that's his open bar. Did he just put on there? Chance, hurry up and propose to your fiance. We will film your wedding for free. When I got married, actually, I blacked out on margaritas. Did you throw up? Yeah. My husband, he even wiped it from my face. That's love, baby. Can you imagine how annoying that would be, though? 
if your wife got so drunk she barfed on herself on the wedding day, it would be so irritating. It's like, yeah, of course he's gonna be nice to take care of her still, but he's probably so irritated. We just spent all this money. He probably didn't even want to do it. You know, you know we, we can be honest. The guys are never the ones that want to like spend a whole bunch of money on a big wedding party, right? It's just the thing you got to do to make the other one happy. Uh, and then he didn't, even, he didn't even get to have his fun at the end. You know, poor guy. <laughs> That's a lot of things that I am incapable of doing. Was it love at first sight? Hey! Um, I think it was a, a couple. No, not initially. It took a lot of uh, interaction. Thank God. It's I hate it. When people say love at first sight, there's no such thing. There is lust at first sight. Love requires learning about that person and a bunch of other stuff, right? That's not love. Every time someone says love at first sight, I'm like, so you don't know what love is and you have a strong lust for the person you're with. Cool. Uh, my most famous compositions are actually dedicated to my wife. And you know my special, most Makes special sense. concert ever? You may want to hear this. I played in the delivery room during the birth of my second daughter. One of my CDs is actually called Heart, Love and Birth. The last four minutes of that CD is the original recording. You can hear the first cry of our daughter. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why does that make me feel emotional? Is there any I felt that you I felt stuff. For? Believe it or not, I felt stuff like a girl would feel at that story. It was really like nice. They're definitely trying to make some money here. Good for them. I don't know what to, what to really feel about this place, but I think it's better than sneaker con. That's one thing. It wasn't so long ago. You didn't need very many hey, fingers they like it to better than sneaker con. That's tough. Basketball sneakers. And the price, like I well, said, you sneaker can buy con's a dumb. sneakers for under $30, way under. Alas, those days are long gone. And in their place, a culture where high price kicks mean status, power, and oh. sometimes even big time bucks. What's up, G's? Interesting. And it makes sense. That's what's happened to everything, right? What happened to basically everything. Rest in peace, video game monetization. Let's get any shoes. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, what's your favorite shoes that you got? Uh, probably the off-white lot dunks. Oh, what do you guys think of my uh, Avias? Six hundred dollars shoes, bro. Right away, it's like so dumb, so dumb. So many valuable tools and other things you could you could spend six hundred dollars on shoes that just look a certain way. I even understand like really expensive boots, like that are right, like good handmade fucking boots that are, you know, basically crafted to your foot and they're going to last basically like forever and shit. Uh, you know, I, I get dropping some some big bucks on stuff like that too, but dude, stupid f***ing sneakers. Just for a look. Like, sneakers don't even last long. They're garbage. Hey, those might be the worst shoes out right now. Donald Trump, 2024. I'm Art for Abstracts. I'm coming out this year as an artist. I got signed by the same company that owns Papa Picasso's estate. Do you fuck with uh, Van Gogh? Yeah, I definitely do. That's my art. This is for wow. dabs. You scoop it and then you put it in the banger while it's hot and then you dab. All right. Oh my God. There's so she many wears sneakers. her dab thing. Yeah, this oh. kind of crazy. I'm gonna see a whole bunch of shoes I think look <laughs> stupid that people spent money on, huh? Alright, where are we at right now, guys? Yeah, those look Sanders. dumb. Is there any kind of shoe you guys would just never wear? The J Balvin Jordans. You don't like J Balvin? Nah. What, what grade are you guys in? Uh, seven. What do you want to be when you grow up? Breaks my heart a little bit to see kids so young already into this stupid bullshit. Either a porn star or, a, or like a professional like race car driver. You want to spend a few bucks? This video could maybe make it into r slash cringe. Bars? All right. And this is a diss track on my homie Zach. I'm about to bounce back. You look like a robot shirt that. Hey, got a book cut in the back. Hey, you look like a rat. Drop that bitch. Hey, you're silly and whack. Hey. Bitch. That's a diss song to your friend Zach? Yeah, Z A T C H spelled Zach. Why don't you like Zach? Zach. Shrimp, He's a nice guy, but he roasted me. Okay, damn. Yes. Have you been in a fight before? No. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming to Senior Con. Thank you for no. really sharing your project with us and educating people today on like what NFTs are because no. it's so new. There's so many you know scams and things happening. Yeah. Like anything new, right? It's the foundation of a new type of culture, you know. Absolutely. Stop it. Drip or drown. Drip. Why? Because drip.
Grip is essential. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's not. Where? It's not essential. I really had to get that off my chest. It really bothered me hearing someone say it was essential. It just that actually fucking like it just crushed. It's just more pieces of my soul died when he said it. You know, it's like he just he stabbed me right in the soul. I don't know, but I think he's over there. Oh. They need to go kill him. What's your preferred way of execution? Look, I, it ain't my job to do it, but somebody else gotta do it. What's your favorite kind of shit? Nice shirt. You could probably trade your avias all the way up to a galaxy foam here. How? You have to trade. Have to so where would I begin my trade journey? Uh, the trading, the pit. trading pit. Oh. The trading pit. Those guys are willing to wheel and what? deal. So I think you could take those off. Wheel and deal for something else, and then just keep working your way up around. It gets lit in the pit. I'm about to fuck so I cash up on them. Cringe. Uh, what can you trade me for these avias? Peep game. You don't fuck with these ones? I'm good. I'm not. Nah, I'm sorry, bruh. Give you a water bottle. Is that Take a is it a sticker? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Fucking brand names, dude. I really don't get the big old fashion thing and spending all this extra money on this dumb shit. You know, it's like, just go to the gym. Just go to the gym and build your body instead. It makes a bigger difference in how you look. Really, it does. What's jail like in Idaho? The guards treat you like shit, bro. Like, they don't give a fuck about you at all. So you just have to like, you just have to deal with it. Put your head down and like try to get out of it. Did you have to click up with like the woods or the AB? I kind of kicked it outside my race. I don't like racism, you know? I actually got like shit on by some of the, the brothers. I couldn't kick it with the white boys because I kick it with like the brothers and then the, the Serenios, you feel me? What do you guys That's so them, stupid, huh? dude. You Are you really doing this? So I dumb got, always. Shit. I got you on the shirt even though it's not vintage. Nope. Damn. Thank we, already, we already went deep dive into the racism topic in the last stream though, right? So we're, we don't, we're not gonna rehash it here, but God, it's so dumb. So dumb. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Sick. So what are these? Signal orange Jordan one mids. Yeah. They're like hey, 158. Not they even that bad. Recently. Look at I that. Appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Uh, Moving up. And what's your Instagram, by the way, bro? Uh, we're Boise Barter Market. Started off with Jan Sports, and now I'm married. You know, when everything else has been over six hundred dollars, that's not so bad. Oh shit! Another oh, green. Right. Yeah, okay. okay. So how's everything going? All right, all right. Going working, working the trade, working the trade. Somebody gave me a box of free Yeezys. Hell yeah. Well, Sweet. I just got some new shoes. I lost my shoes, but I'm wondering if you would be willing to trade uh, a painting for a pair of Air Jordans. For a pair of Air Jordans? Yeah. Yes. So maybe you like the big one? Yeah, definitely. The big one. Really? I was going to give this to Wiz Khalifa outside. This is yes. sick as hell. How would you describe the style? I would describe the style as um, an explosion of emotions Silent, but very vibrant. Hell yeah, it is. Modern art is so silly, but it was really nice what he did, right? Really cool. Well, yeah, I mean, these Jordans are pretty, pretty big. Okay. Uh, uh, no, autoplay, no, no, no. What's your favorite no. kind of- You autoplay trying to stop me from leaving a like on the video.